Hi guys, it's just a quick progress report on how we're getting on with the Business Central uh, upgrade. So we're primarily going to focus on what was called the ribbon, that's now called the action bar, and I just want to show you what the new job sheets uh, and some of the document lists now look like. So if we just uh, select job sheets, you'll notice that you have the feature up here where you can actually filter through the job sheets uh, using this section here. We'll just open this job sheet as the example. So this is now, this was previously called the ribbon. It's now called the action bar um, by Microsoft's uh, terminology. And we've recategorized and moved stuff around. So hopefully it's far more intuitive than it was previously. So now under process, you have access to the schedule, copy document, split document, add resources to lines and create estimate. In payments, we've grouped payments and posting now. So you can take payment next to the ability to post and print an email. And we've also promoted the post button. So if you don't want to print your email, you can just post the document now. All the parts features are in here. So this is where you create the purchase orders and do your stock transfers. And for those using confirmation worksheet, that's accessible from here as well. Under lookup, this is where you add your service packages, update the VRM data and look at the history um, of the vehicle and the MOT history from the DVSA. This is also where the auto data repair times and service schedules sit as well. We've grouped print and send. So you can now, um, under this uh, action button, you've got all the printing features and the contact features such as email and SMS. Related shows all the related documents and cards. So this is where you access the customer card, the vehicle card, the comments, the schedule entries and the time registration entries, as well as looking at the vehicle inspection. Under show attached, we've got the pictures. So document pictures, vehicle pictures, note any notes against this job sheet and any links against this job sheet as well. So if we look at the customer card, um, we've also changed the way that the postcode lookup works as well. So previously that was in the ribbon. Now we've actually moved it down to here. So providing you tap postcode in here and click on lookup address from postcode, you're gonna get asked, um, this is just essentially where you just select the address and it will populate the customer card for you. So previously that was in the ribbon, that's now down here. What we've also simplified, um, for example, if we look at the vehicle list, whereas previously this had so much legacy stuff from the dealer management system, um, it's now hopefully going to make a little bit more sense. If we just open a vehicle card, you'll notice that we've got similar terminology across all of the documents now. Um, so if we look at process, we've got a new button here called statistics. This will allow you to see the profit, the amount of jobs you've done the, and the revenue of that particular vehicle and the profit margin of that particular vehicle. You can look up the um, VRM data, run an update on MOT by VIN or by VRM. You can view the MOT history from, from the vehicle card as well, the vehicle history, for example. You can look up posted job sheets from here. Uh, yep, and any returns, return job sheets. So this is something we'll look at as well, uh, which is new. Uh, related, you can actually access the customer card now from the vehicle card as well, which you couldn't do previously. You can look at any open job sheets. So if you click on job sheets here, it will actually take you through to a list of job sheets, or if there's only one, it's actually going to open the job sheet and you can view the pictures from here as well. So the other feature was the return job sheets. So this is now what is called service return orders. We've just added a load of features to it, so it makes far more sense. So a return job sheet is the reverse of a job sheet. If you want to issue a customer with a credit, basically you can do a full credit or you can do a partial. So you can actually copy an, an entire job sheet or you can just do a partial. Let's say you're just refunding a single part or a single bit of labor. Um, that's now done via return job sheets. And you'll notice that you have these totals now previously, which you didn't have before. And you just have very similar, very similar features to a job sheet. Same applies to things like vehicle inspections. So if we open an inspection, this is now simplified. You have this uh, on pin as well. So if you actually want to hide the action bar entirely, you can do. Or if you would rather it be pinned, you can just pin the action bar. Again, that applies to every page, every, every document type, sorry. 
So it's just a quick one. We just wanted to show you the progress that we're making with the documents. We're hoping that what well, we're using these changes to really simplify the documents and just make them far more intuitive. Um, that applies to all cards, item cards, vehicle cards, customer cards, job sheets, estimates, VHCs. Um, so hope you like the changes. Um, if you've got any comments, please just um, please yep, um, drop them in the comment section of the community page or of the YouTube video. Thank you.